What is up guys and horror fans? Welcome back to my channel. This is OCB Me Reviews. My name is Andre Brinker and today I'm going to review the latest horror film that came out and that is Insidious The Red Door. This is the fifth Insidious movie in the Insidious franchise and this is a director debut by Patrick Wilson who also stars in the movie with Ty Simpkins, Rose Byrne and Sinclair Daniel. Josh Lambert heads east to drop his son Dalton off to college. However, Dalton's college dream soon become a living nightmare when the repressing demons of his past suddenly return to haunt them both. So yes, we got another Insidious movie. Now, when it comes to the Insidious movies, they're pretty mixed. I really enjoyed the first two Insidious movies. I thought they were fun times. I think James Wan directed those movies really, really well. Not my favorite horror films of all time, but I still think the first two Insidious movies are really well done. Three and four, I just find them just meh. They're watchable, they're entertaining, but I just find them just okay. So I have not too much anticipation with this fifth installment, even though Patrick Wilson this is his first directorial debut. So that's one thing I was interested in going into this movie. And I gotta say guys, I walked out of Insidious Direct Door pretty let down because I would even say this is probably the worst Insidious film in the series. Now, it has positives. Patrick Wilson, he directs this movie pretty well actually. There are some really cool scare shots I would say in this film that I can see his vision and he performs it very, very well. I wouldn't even say the scares, the building up to the scares is actually surprisingly really well done. He does it in a really slow pace where the audience basically thinks, okay, when's the scare gonna happen? It's still not happening yet, but it's still building up. I thought those elements are actually really cool in the film. I find that very interesting in this film. I would even say the performances by Patrick Wilson, I thought he did a pretty good job in this film. Ty Simpkins, I thought he also does a really good job. It's good to see him back, you know? I haven't seen him since, you know, the Insidious movies and Iron Man 3. He was a kid actor. Now he's all grown up and he's still pretty good in the film. I would say surprisingly the standout of this film is Sinclair Daniel, who plays Ty Simpkins' college roommate. I thought her character is going to be very annoying in this film. She's actually bringing out some pretty good laughs in this film. It's something that we kind of needed for this film because I'm going to be honest with you guys. Insidious the Red Door honestly really bored me. I thought the scares in this movie are some of the jump scares you've seen in many horror films before. I would say the build up is much more better than the actual result of the scares in this film. And one of my biggest issues with Insidious the Red Door is that this movie is just completely unnecessary. We don't need to see the Lindbergh family back in this film because honestly, I think Insidious Chapter 2 ends the family off fantastically. And I would say the ending of Insidious 2 was so misleading because it didn't explore that at all in this film. And that's something that I was honestly really interested in, but I didn't explore that at all in this film. And literally, Rose Byrne in this film and the other brother in this film, they have no purpose being in this movie whatsoever because they do nothing in this film. Even Lynn Shine in this film returning, she's barely in this movie. She's literally only in two scenes of the film. That's it. Why is she in the poster of this movie? Because she isn't in this movie all that much. And I just find the scares in this movie, honestly, just very nice. Well, you know it's coming. And also the story of this movie, it's nothing new. It's nothing spectacular. It's another generic horror film that you've seen many times before. And I literally walked out of this film bored out of my mind, to be honest with you. And this is supposed to be the final Insidious movie in the series. And all I can think about is that this movie is just completely unnecessary to begin with. Obviously, it's another Insidious movie to make more money. That is basically this film. Overall, guys, Insidious the Red Door had some cool shots and cool moments. I think Patrick Wilson directed this movie very, very well for his director debut. Unfortunately, the story of this film, it's just completely unnecessary. I feel like it's another film that just is made for the money because the other films did really well. Overall, guys, Insidious the Red Door is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's another generic horror film with some generic scares. The cast is okay in the film, but just the story really let me down for this film. And I am going to give Insidious the Red Door a D. I would even say this movie didn't scare me at all as well. There's not a single moment where I literally jumped. Yep, the horror fails at its own hand. So guys, that is my review of Insidious the Red Door. Let me know what you think of this film in the comments below and what is your favorite Insidious film. Make sure you guys follow me on social media, links down below. Keep contact with me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel notify for my latest movie reviews and other movie related content. Thank you guys so much for watching and 
have a nice day.